Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In this video, I am going to explain you about spiral model in the subject of software engineering. Till now we have discussed about different process models and the spiral is the second one in the iterative model. Okay, so it comes under iterative process model and iterative process model will come under evolutionary process model. You already know that, right? okay so before that yeah one more thing uh, i've started a new channel with study abroad content if you're having interest i'll leave the link of that channel in the description you can have a look uh, so now let us see this uh, spiral model so it actually has four stages it is an endless loop so it never ends i mean it ends when you want it to end okay that's okay don't get confused i'll explain you so all the repetitive activities will be done that is each and every activity will be repeated multiple times until uh, the customer is satisfied and it is mainly used in case of risk handling or you can simply say in case uh, where uh, handling risks is very important or in the cases where more risks are probable to happen so in those cases you can use the spiral model okay so now let us see the diagram with which you can understand it more clearly okay i think i cannot zoom in more if i zoom in more it is becoming blurred actually 0.9x okay fine let us keep it on one only um so this is the diagram we have four stages four quarters one two three four okay uh so don't get confused in coordinate geometry we'll have one two three four but here one two three four like this we have okay it starts from here and in this direction it comes so see it is starting here and one complete cycle it will make sorry okay by the time it comes here one complete cycle is completed that is first iteration is done okay now if so here it reaches first iteration is done right then the customer will come he will evaluate he will check if the customer is not satisfied it will go for the second iteration that is in this way okay so here it starts from here always it will start in q1 and end in q4 okay see here it has started here and ended here right now again it is starting here the second iteration is starting here in q1 and it will travel all the way and it comes here and stops here okay q4 like that again here also customer evaluation will be done if the customer is not satisfied one more iteration like that the spiral with the loop continues until and unless the uh, until and unless the customer is satisfied okay so we have four steps here i will tell what are those four steps before that let us see some more features of this spiral model so the first iteration so the first iteration is the core product and in the next subsequent iterations you will be getting the a final complete software okay subsequent phases phases is nothing but one phase is one round okay one round is one phase one round in the sense complete this one this complete 360 degrees is considered as one round okay as the radius of the spiral increases cost also will increase radius of the spiral in the sense so what is the radius of the first iteration this one r1 what is the radius of the second iteration this r2 what is the radius of the third iteration r3 so as the radius keeps on increasing the cost also will increase okay and the time also will increase the complexity also will increase everything will increase as the radius of the spiral keeps on increasing okay and the angle will indicate the progress so what do you mean by the angle suppose it has traveled in this way okay so how many how much angle it has covered 180 degrees right so half of the task is done more half is yet to complete support it it has traveled this way then 270 degrees that is three fourth of the task is completed one fourth is more left like that the angle will represent the progress of the task got it so and now the i spiral is looped until the customer is satisfied it is suitable for large products projects and it is also flexible and it is complex complex obviously and it will take some time okay now let us see the diagram that is we have four stages right let us try to understand what are those four stages very simple they are don't worry first is defining the objective so defining the objective in the sense it is nothing but the main purpose of the project the main purpose why how you will be able to define it through collecting the requirements through gathering the requirements you have to define the purpose of the 
project the objective okay and from there you move to the second so initially what you are doing in the first phase simply requirement gathering and analysis okay next second identify and reduce the uh, resolve the risks so in the second stage what you will do is you will identify all the risks because as i already said this is mainly useful in case of risks so the second step is you will identify all the risks and you will try to resolve those risks okay then you will come to the third stage which is nothing but the developing the next version of the software developing next version of software is nothing but you will be interacting with the customers okay interacting with the customers and you will be taking the feedback from them if there are any changes to be implemented you will be implementing those changes got it that is about the developing the next version of the software perfect done now after the third step you will go to the fourth step where you will be doing the review and plan for the next phase next phase is nothing but the second iteration okay in our language in uh since you'll understand easily if i say the word iteration i've said that so the next iteration so till here it is first phase right from here it is second phase so the review and plan for the next phase it will be doing that is if the if the review is required or if the next phase is required or we can stop here all those decisions will be made in the fourth step okay this is about the spiral model i hope this video is clear for you see guys one more again i'm telling you software engineering is more of a theory subject it all depends on how well you remember the things got it so that's all that's all for this video let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic if you're still having any doubts let me know in the comment section thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic